warn you, this next story is extremely disturbing. The man accused of murdering a Milwaukee mother and her two children confesses to the crime and details his actions to try and cover it up. Derricka Williams with more on the new charges and efforts to help prevent future tragedies. She joins us live. Our Zell Ivory today court documents were released showing that he is now charged with three felony crimes of first degree intentional homicide. Now, when it comes to him, the things that he detailed in this criminal complaint that he supposedly admitted to were just gory, troubling and heartbreaking. So, of course, we are not going to share those details due to the graphic nature of this crime. Innocent babies and a mother who pleaded for her life, now gone allegedly at the hands of someone who claimed to love them. Court documents revealed the grisly confession made by Ardell Ivory. He said following the funeral of their 21-month-old son, he was fighting with his girlfriend, Amara Jerrica Banks. He pushed her head into the wall a couple of times and then strangled her. He then admitted to going to the children's rooms and strangling four-year-old Kamaria Banks and five-year-old Zaniah Ivory. Reports say Ivory claims he drove them to a garage near 47th and Burleigh and lit the bodies on fire. For Sojourner, we're heartbroken with the family. Carmen Petrie, president and CEO of Sojourner Family Peace Center, is dedicated to helping victims of domestic violence. This horrific crime is bringing to light the issue that's plaguing our city. There are literally hundreds and thousands of people who need help in this community. And... Um, we need to take that seriously and be available in every corner of this community. They're looking for an opening and for kindness and for somebody to understand. Helping victims is also a community effort. If you see something, say something. As a community, we, we need to do that. We need to reach our arms around the people who are suffering. And P3 says domestic violence homicides are up, so she wants to get the message out to take lethal threats seriously. Anyone who needs help, it's available 24-7 at the Joiner Family Peace Center. You can call their hotline, go onto their website, or even go to their location for assistance. We have put that contact information on our website, fox6now.com. As for this suspect, he is actually in the process of being extradited back here to Milwaukee, and he is facing life in prison. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Derricka, thank you.